out to that testimony from you, Dr. Doctor. I tell you, those of y'all don't know, my father passed away from prostate cancer. That was not called in time. Praise the Lord. So when I realized that God could have, he could have done it for my dad. He didn't let it not to. And I agree with what God's choice, whatever God's choice is. We have to thank God for whatever he allows to be. But I thank God for your testimony. Hallelujah. Because God delivered. I pray God for your testimony. Because God delivered. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And I pray for the testimony of the saints. Thank you, Jesus. That's how we overcome, everybody. We overcome by each other's testimony. Hallelujah. about how when you have committed something to God, yeah. amen, and how you feel when God sends confirmation that he has done yeah. what you committed to him. Yeah. Praise the Lord. And we have all at some point, I know I have committed our health, our strength, our well-being to the Lord. Yeah. Amen. It don't belong to us. It belongs to him. Yeah. Praise God. And so when we talk about how you feel when God delivered you from something, how did you feel when God saved you? How did you feel when God touched your body? Amen. How did you feel when God just put you on the right path? Amen. When he turned your life around. Praise God. We were talking about that this morning, and I just thank God for hearing. Amen. Again, more confirmation of when we commit things to God. God will bless us. He will, he will take us through. Amen. And he will allow his purpose to be worked out in our lives. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And there's some folks that we know, even now, there's some folks that might be in our homes, on our jobs, amen, that are going through some stuff right now. Amen. And so we want to pray again with those folks. You know, every Sunday we have made it customary that we dial up someone on our phones. Amen. So I want everybody to get your phone out if you have one. Everyone get your phones out and dial up that person that needs prayer. Amen. It might be someone in your house or someone, a, a far family member, but whoever it is, praise the Lord, get them on the phone. And when you have them on the phone, I want you to go ahead and stand. If you're able to, I want you to stand and let them know that we're going to go into prayer for them in Jesus' name.
and his wife comes into church morning and they clean the building with others. He doesn't get paid, but he loves it. He's been doing it for years. What? I don't want you to let this man die because we need him. So you can talk about when you got something that God knows about. You can speak to him like that, but God, you have done something. You can't say that if you have done anything, right? right? This man has been working. He's faithful. And I want you to heal him. Next time I know it's a big deal to get fat. That's what's going on, man. You get gain weight instead of losing weight. Most people can't still lose weight. He gained weight. Well, you know what? God had already worked a miracle. He didn't know when God worked it. Everything tried. Shake was trying to bring him down. Everything tried to get him to that time. He was suffering. But he still came to church. He still cleaned the building. Could have left his arm up. But he still worked. God remembers you, saints. He remembers you. He remembers you, Judy. He remembers you, don't. He remembers you, say. God honors the righteous prayer. He hears a lot of sinners unless they repent. My father died at 54 years old. He had cancer. Remember, 
about the graves and her family. Yes. Special request for the saints of Mother Mohead. Continue to touch her body, Lord God. Yes. Men that can't come out, Lord God, but you can meet them right where they are. Yes. Right where they are. They don't have to move. You can touch them. Thank God for the saints that are struggling to come to the house of God. Some don't want to be here. Some want to be here. But thank God for all of them, Lord. Because there could be somebody else. Thank God for the one that's really struggling in the mental mind and what's going on in their life. Oh, God, I thank you right now. Look at that baby that's in the hospital struggling, fighting for life. They're two months old. Hey, glory to God. Lord, touch right now. Yes. Oh, God, we don't know what's going on with you, the Lord. Give the doctors the right knowledge. Give them the right thing to work with their baby right now. In the name of Jesus. Look on us as Smyrna. Give us more grace. Give us more strength. Give us more compassion. Give us more love. And love those that even don't love us. Give us the capacity to love those that talk about us, that run us down. Or give us the capacity to look beyond their faults and say they need to say. I believe it bless the Jones family. All those who might get on bed school. Young marriage couple. Young engaged marriage couple. Walk look on them. Let them. They can't walk together unless both agree. At the time we're living it down, we folks just don't agree. Folks just don't agree. But Lord, put that spirit of humbleness. Take away the pride. Take about a lofty attitude. We are just saved by grace, all of us. Only by grace are we saved today. We have no room to brag for how holy we are. None of us are holy. We're working toward holiness. We're not there yet, but we're working toward the Lord. Our holy, our spirit is holy. But this old body we live in. It's a wreck, it's a mess. Because Adam sinned. Yes. Eve sinned. And ever since then, man didn't have to come into the world to sin. He's already settled. Yes. Because of our forefathers. But Lord, I thank you for giving us the opportunity to see today. We are saved. We are filled with your power. Jesus. Somebody give God glory. Just begin to give God glory. Talk to somebody, they're walking away. They don't want to hear what you have to say. Touch that stony heart, Lord. Touch that one that don't want to pray. Yes, Lord. Do it, Lord. Yes. We need you right now. Yes, Jesus. Speak to everyone's heart in this building. Yes, Lord. And if they're not saved in a crowd, what must I do to be saved? Yes, Lord. Because salvation is a free gift. But we need to choose hell or heaven. We can choose the way of the world, or we can choose your way, Lord. And Lord, I pray for all pastors and spiritual leaders around this world. 
that we will be speaking the same thing with the same judgment. Yes, Jesus. Let there be no division in this gospel. No black church, no white church, no Hispanic church, no Catholic church, no Methodist church, no Presbyterian church, no Lutheran church. Just church. No, whole, no temples, no synagogues. Just one church. Yes, Lord. One God, one faith, one baptism. Yes, Bring them back. Bishop is not over us. Jesus is not the only one that's over us. He has other shepherds, which is the pastor. Yes, he can only, he's there for representation of Jesus Christ. The Bible says he didn't need him. Because he has to give account for everyone on his charge. Yes. He got to give account. In Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. You can take your seat. Hallelujah. You know, I want to bring it back. In the military, you got a child in quarters. You got people watching you while you sleep at night. They have to make a report in the morning. Morning report. And they happen to it at night, then it goes up the chain of command until they get one child. And then they have to file a file report, actually report or whatever. God is holding us accountable. Every one of us is accountable. Whether you want to or not, you are accountable for what you say and what you do and how you treat folks. You are accountable. And God is keeping score on all of us. So if you're short, say, Lord, help bring me up. Help bring me up. It is. I'm going to say this, and this is going to offend somebody. It's too much hell in the church. It's too much hell in the church. We got to get rid of that spirit in all churches. And, and, and stop faking it. Let's love folk, really love folk. Not pick and choose, but love people for where they are and who they are. Because they not one of them here have not sinned. Not one. And not come short to the glory of God. He said, if any man say he has not said a liar and a truth is not in him. That's the book. All of us. So don't be pointing your finger at Johnny and Sue and then you look at yourself and say, God save me. I hope I'll make it in. <laughs> okay, man. Amen. Look at yourself and say, I hope I'll make it in. Amen. Say it again. I hope I'll make it in. But one day all is going to face it. So let's get together, say some love one another. Let's all stand and just give God a thank you.
Yeah. 